Black cowboys played a major role in the settling and shaping of the American West. In honor of Black History Month, we're introducing you to twin brothers from Tulsa who've spent their entire lives making sure that part of history is told while being successful rodeo cowboys for many years. Being a cowboy was Ron and Don Stevens' childhood dream. When I was a kid, I would draw pictures of guys that I knew to rope. I would draw pictures of them doing that. And I draw a picture of some land and put a house here and a house here and a road in the back. So me and my brother are going to have a place like this where they can walk out in our backyard. Oh, girl. Come on. And that's exactly what they did. Three years after graduating high school, the Stevens bought this North Tulsa land, built a barn and an arena. For 10 years, they held twice a year rodeos, packing the place. My mother, she used to run my concession stand. It was all big family affair. My daddy was my gate man when people come in the gate. Being Tulsa firefighters, the schedule allowed the Stevens to travel across the country to compete in rodeos, collecting prize money, championships, and countless stories. Theirs is chronicled in a chapter of the best-selling book, Black Cowboys of Rodeo. But it's the story of others the Stevens take pride in telling most. For years, they would go to classes and teach children about the legacy and contributions of black cowboys. They say it's important black children know a third of the cowboys in the Wild West were black. And because knowing history means knowing and understanding others and their struggles. I remember Jim Crow laws. Well, I remember when we couldn't go to Bell's Amusement Park. I can remember that as a kid. So it's, it's a gut shot. It's not a good feeling to not have equal reputation or anything you can do. Black cowboy rodeos began when blacks either weren't allowed in certain rodeos or wouldn't want to be. But back then, a lot of the top hands should have made the finals. They just didn't get scored right. Uh, they got cheated on the times. Poor oh boy. Ron recalls a time, even in the 90s, at a rodeo in Bixby, instead of leaving with prize money, he left with a police escort. I won first place. They had some excuse why I shouldn't get paid if something happened or just did this or you had a long time. Just lied to you about it. And you know you was right, but they didn't give you the money. Because you were black? That's the way I look at it. The Stevens say progress has been made and education is key. This month, they were honored as living legends by the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Don says of their accomplishments, he'd like to be remembered as a helper for future generations of cowboys. When I was trying to learn, it was hard to get people to show you how to do things. So when I got knowledge, I tried to show people and educate them on steer wrestling events that I didn't care for open. And I think that's what made me a better cowboy. The Stevens, the epitome of success, because, as Don said after the mic was off, as a kid he played firefighter and cowboy, so as an adult, he didn't work a day in his life. That was 2 News anchor Aaron Christie. The Stevens said during their presentations to kids, they focused on Western history, but they also let them try roping and incorporate messages about staying in school and staying away from gangs and drugs.